But yeah. every time I switch it to where it's recording from the sound card, yeah. it goes, nope, we're done. <laughs> well, but it always plays back, so I don't, maybe it's just a glitch or a... Well, yeah. And you should ask Grimner, he knows that kind of techie Yeah, shit. I know Grimmy knows that kind of techie stuff. And maybe I shouldn't Please. turn on Spreaker oh. until we get to... That could be as well. Maybe oh, I should just push geez. the proper buttons. Yeah, there, that could help. Follow the fucking directions, see what happens. Directions? You read directions? I know. Uh, see, now you're going to talk to me about following directions like I give a flying shit. <laughs> that's, why you, that's why you have to broadcast, because I'm worse at directions than you are. Oh, yeah, and I suck. But... I found Denmark without a road map, so top that, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn, you's an overachiever, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, my my wife likes it that way. I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does. Oh, and looky here, over here on hey, Spreaker, Barman tweeted us out to say that the dorks are on the loose. <laughs> uh -oh. And we're doing dorky things because it is, yeah, dork table time. Dorky things, dork doiky. table time. Doiky. We're being doiky. I when Finn is on the RLM. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and I'm there so goes your harmonica again. Yeah, I was so excited. I wrote a, I wrote a song, an Ode to Hansel. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it, huh? It was well, a cute little close, ditty. But, uh, what, what do you want for free? Well, that's yeah. true. That's I true. am 50% Jew. Uh, yeah, but the I other half is that. Beaner, so, you know. Yeah. You, you a, you're a Jewish bean. <laughs> I know, okay. you're a Jewish Stop. bean counter. There you go. Hey. That's how it works. <laughs> Jewish beaten counter. It's kind. Of, it's like an oxymoron. <laughs> I W Sir Twenty. No. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. We're at the dork table, Miss Mary. Yes, I'm we still are. Flash. Yeah. You're still Miss Mary. That's right. And there ain't nobody paying attention over on Fakey Book. And oh. Twitter is just twittering away. Twitter, Twitter, oh. Twitter. But over Ooh. here on the effing site, we got people paying attention, or hey, at least Grimmy is. Site. Hey, Grimmy. I see you over here hey. on the effing site. Grimner. Grimner. Yeah. Or Grim Nerd. Oh, shit. And you yeah. know what? I totally forgot to change my name. I am uh -oh. such a dork. I know. <laughs> That's why you are so securely duct taped to the chair you're sitting in right now, Miss Mary. You earned it. Well, besides that, um, yeah, yeah uh, I have a cat on my lap, too, and she's pretty much yeah. not going to let me get in. Okay. Yeah. I call it duct tape. You call it a cat. It's the same damn thing. Yeah, it's still painful when you try and remove it and it don't want to be yeah. removed. <laughs> yeah, the claws come out and start digging into your thighs. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, next topic. Uh, next topic, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, fakey book. Uh, mines, mines. Yeah, we're over on mines, too. Yeah, but I haven't, on. yeah. Those people have been busy chitty-chatting over on mines. I'm not very popular on Minds, Miss Mary. Ah, uh, who says it's a popularity uh, contest? I I piss off the Trump supporters, and now I'm called an anti-vaxxer because I don't think that you should get conned by the vaccine thing. Well, you know, if you're called an anti-vaxxer, wear that as a badge of honor, by golly. Uh, yeah, but if I pin it on, no, I don't want to wear it. It's going to hurt my nipple if I pin it on. No. <laughs> I don't want to get dressed for all this pomp and ceremony. Forget it. Okay, I got to share you know, this. I got to share this link over here on the RLM. Wait a it's minute. Didn't even say hi to anybody. Yet. I know, sure but that. but I'm I went over to Twitter to close it, and this was right at the top of the feed, and it's like, oh, oh god, I gotta share this. It's too freaking funny. Boy, I remember those things too. Remember when when they existed in reality? You know, I still have some in my house. 
which oh, is okay. how well, I remember I the noise that they make because I have a cat a, that does that, just not under the door. <laughs> but I'm in a foreign playing field, and they don't have American products around here. Oh, man, that sucks. No, not really. Oh, not really? Okay, well, that works, too. What if they, what if they made America that didn't fall apart by 1998 anyway? <laughs> mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, I've got some I've really got bad. some things that that were pro- of course they were produced in uh like the 60s and the 70s, but they uh, still like no, Yeah, right. Before the before the planned what, obsolescence was really yeah, kicked that. in. Yeah. See you. Oh, you're getting tricky. Okay, I know. Sam, I am. Okay, over off. here in the RLM, which is where you need to be if you want to give us guys some static and be dorkular and all that other fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ER suit brings this good side out of you. Oh, yes. Um, I see Barman is over here at the most splendiferous spot in the whole wide world. And they're talking pizza. And it's like, man, that toast I just had doesn't sound near as good as that pizza they're talking about. <laughs> uh, Although I'm not real crazy about Papa John pizza. But, uh, oh, no. Here we go. Okay, uh, Cowboy Tech hey, is also when here. This turn into Facebook. Okay. I don't know, uh, huh? Cowboy Tech, I was mocking your food commentary. Oh, well, yeah, because everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, on fa- you know it's not just Facebook. Instagram does that too. It, they post pictures you know of their meals. I've never even used Instagram. I don't even know how to do a, it. My granddaughter set me up with Instagram, and so it's like, wow. You know, I lasted about, I don't know, maybe a month on Twitter before I finally, nah. Uh, I'm just not for the big groups. Uh, well, that's okay. I am i don't have that big of a follower, following, stalkers, whatever, on uh, Twitter, and that's fine. I do like, uh, I like trolling the place, though. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. that's kind of fun. Cool In any see. case, over here, Grim Nerd <laughs> is here. Hey, Grim Nerd yeah. is the RLM so. god in disguise today. Yeah. Yeah. He's the help. Yeah. He's the yeah. helper of the helpless. Yeah. Mentally and mentally. Um, well, cybernetically he, and all that fun the, stuff. But he's the techno brain behind the, the RLM. Ooh. Kate just said shots fired on the North Lawn. Oh, crying. Are they trying to scare the dandelions away? Damn it. See what happens when I try to be nice to people. Somebody gets shot. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to do this anymore. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I'm going back to my normal nasty ways. Thank there you, you go. <laughs> and Moosey has joined us. Moose, the mighty hey, Moose survived her night of adventures uh, in Barland. The alcohol <laughs> does not last forever no it doesn't damn it, it. just seems like forever <laughs> pour me another tequila sheila in That's any case why I burn my alcohol oh uh, okay, okay. kate is here Boots. kate yay, yay. yay. alias yay. d or alias yay. however you're supposed to say that asmo asmo and beth z and chalcedony yay. and a double dip and a chloe Hey, Chloe, Chloe. And then we got a Dorcas Linus. A Dorcas Dor- Linus. How wow, fun wait, is man. that? Uh, we have an intruder amongst us. I, th- I, I, <laughs> I think I know who that Dorcas Linus is. They're but... trying to throw us off the scent with these fancy names. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, Dorcas I see who that is now. <laughs> now I know. Oh, <laughs> self-inflicted shots, huh? Ooh, how fun. <laughs> Yes, I know, Beetle, you can eat dandelions. You can eat the flowers, and you can eat the leaves, and you can eat the roots. And I actually watched a video the other day of someone making coffee with dandelion root. And I thought, I'm happy for you. I like my coffee. Uh, let's see, did I say Chelsea? Yeah, I did. But I be Doncy and I be Doncy Woik. Yeah, and that was the word last week, I think. Yeah, started Thursday, I believe. They have. Yeah, I haven't stabbed him in the eye and sent him home yet. Mm, not yet. Not yet. Huh? Java, 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 Java Doctor 2 is here. Java! <laughs> I know, and I just happen to have a fresh cup of Java that probably won't last the show. So. Oh, the fresh cup of Java. Yes. Yes, from my little single cup maker. 
Yeah. Uh, Do what? Okay. <laughs> I got to read I got to read what Grim Nerd shared. We're uh, sheltering in place at the White House briefing room. A report of shots fired near North Lawn. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 yeah, okay, yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh JJ's. Hi JJ's. JJ's. That wild man. Yeah. I see uh, him over on Twitter every once in a while. Yeah, the music guy. Yeah, he's a musical dude with a kilt. We How often do you see that? People. I hope not to ever see that. <laughs> <laughs> After I saw the young lady in the white dress and the guy in the kilt and the skid mark on her yard, on her lap, Ooh. Oh, I don't see the kilt as an exciting thing like you do miss mary wow that just ruined <laughs> yeah. it for me thanks I'm telling maybe you, that's hey. what all those pleats are for <laughs> I, had to, <laughs> I had to live there for two and a half years and did and you I'm ever see a it, kilt if i did and it was on a guy i wasn't looking so <laughs> I guess not. must be something about really hairy legs that just you makes your I radar go nope not looking yeah, over there no i'm one of those guys that works off the uh, other senses. Ah. Yeah, yeah my uh-huh. eyes fail me, so I go with hands and smells and, you know, ah. stuff like that. There yeah. you go. Okay. Juana Taco. Yeah. Juana Taco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Meister Bra is here. Hey, buddy, what's up? Uh, yeah. Our Arizona boy. He's yeah. He's growing up, Mary. I He's know. Gonna the... He's going to leave the cradle soon, in a month. Oh, Wow. Wow. I also hey, see the lovely go rain. Fast. He's going. Hey. So no, is he moving? Gonna... Woody, South. are you you moving to Arizona? Sweet. It's hot down there. I've been following his every move like a stalker in the night. Ah. Well, my brother knows about Arizona pretty well. So, mm. I, you know, I can always give him some pointers <laughs> if he needs it. <laughs> Moose, he's telling you thanks for ruining kilts for all of us women folk. <laughs> from the government, and I'm here to help. And, uh, uh, yeah. If you don't mind, I prefer the table over the couch. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Rain is here, as well as RLM Rain. Fluky. Oh, don't good. do that. Don't do that. Hi, Rob Works. Where's my bubbler, honey? Did I miss it? Hey, no, Rob. I see it. I see. He did the bubbler. I, Thank you, Rob. Trust no one is here. Hey, Number trusty one. feller. Dark. Meister Bra, not Bra. But I like Bra. I think he likes <laughs> Bras. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the Bra was, uh, it was one of those torture inventions invented by some German guy that hated women. I think so, too. I think, I so think too. that we should free the boob as a culture. As a continent, as a planet, as a flat earth, as a pancake, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> yeah, Free well, boob. that too. Free them all. <laughs> oh, see, Grim Nerd is giving Woody some excellent <laughs> advice. He's telling him, put on your rainbow shoes. <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking, thinking that song, and you guys are so blessed that I didn't start singing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be too funny. Okay. Uh, rainbow shades <laughs> might be what it is, Grim, but yeah, rainbow shoes works. <laughs> so you can run away from all those rainbow warriors. Vroom, vroom. Um, <laughs> beetle. Hi, Beetle. Hey, Beetle. And BTC Bob and Colfax oh, we 101. Have bobs too. Yeah, hey, we got Bob, 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 Bob's. Dakota and Dima are also Dakota, in the house. Dima? Yeah, and Dorky Lynn. Dorky Lynn. And then there's you, <laughs> slash Hello, underscore. Yeah, um, I don't know. The computer's taken over and started to do shit that I didn't ask it to do. Uh, yes, Moosey, the Brazier was invented by a man, and yeah, and. It, it, you, it's it a torture some, advi- device, yeah, and it's some so Nazi that wanted to make you suffer for being girls. Yeah, I predominantly wear camis now, so you know I don't I don't mess with that. That especially I haven't I haven't done the underwire thing in forever. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wow, need no freaking radio transmitters under my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you're you're making me prematurely hack. Thank you very much. <laughs> With your wit and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. wow. I should have just muted about blew a lung out that time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Some reason t- today you're particularly amusing. You're making me laugh. Oh, good. I, <laughs> I smoke the same every week, so it can't be the weed. Oh, <laughs> it must be it something. Must be, it must be your wonderful delivery. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm, bot said one person, <laughs> self-inflicted gunshot wound. <laughs> that's, you know, that's like these people that are castrating themselves because they're pissed at Trump. It's like, oh, there you go. Uh, Thank you very much for cleaning oh, up I... the gene pool because now you won't go forth and procreate. We appreciate wow. that immensely. There are people that have done that. They have done the whole self-mutilation as, as thing. a solution to a problem, they cut off their pecker yeah they're they're pissed at someone uh, else so they they mutilate their own anatomy and it's like wow that's what happens when you swim in the shallow end of the gene pool yeah you get all those clumpy things going on ew that explains the kidneys <laughs> did anyway. i say hey to frumpy hi frumpy i hope so hey frumpy how's can that yeah that that Earth place Earth. too i'm here Earth. as Earth. well Earth. And yeah. so is Kozu. And then Kozu. we got, you know, the way he's got this with the two, three, four, it looks like Meister Ball, which is really very appropriate. <laughs> we got a Meister Brawl, one, two, and three. <laughs> and two, three, and four. Wow. Umbot is here, too. Yeah. Oh, see, you keep going with it. Yeah. I know, I do. And Moy, Moy, Moy. Hey, Moy. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I, I, I failed that class. <laughs> okay. Hey, Fox, what's up? Hi, Foxified and Popple Pond Sauce. I oh, also see Slim Pong. Jim Flynn is here. Hey, and Slim Jim, Flynn. thank you again for for uh, joining in last night. You really are pretty talented with that guitar thing. Uh, I was impressed. Yeah. Um, of course, I can't play, so, you know, anybody that can play something wow. that I'm impressed Ouch. with. Well, but no, he did good. No, he did very oh. good. I thought he did really good. I was, yeah. It's like, you know, via Skype and everything, it still sounded really oh, good. Yeah. Yes. That's what I was I, implying I, to. I am agreeing with you about something here. Don't pass out or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving you any argument for once. Oh, yay. I also I see Teddy, the, the cuddly one, is here. Uh, um, I want you to meet my friend Teddy. Teddy, <laughs> come here. <laughs> but, but I don't want to meet Teddy, sir. Oh, <laughs> meet fucking Teddy now. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> and to anyway. round out the crew, the one, the only, the Phantom Two. Yo. The Phantom. The Phantom. <laughs> And yes, Moosey, that's not piss. That's fucked up in the head. But there are people out there. It's just weird why people do that kind of shit. You know, they 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 hurt themselves and or, you know, especially when they plan to do this kind of stuff. I'm going to kill myself and then you'll be then 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 you'll know then you'll you, and it's like you're the one that's dead the hell yeah well all that sweet talking stuff aside l- let me tell you a little something i thought of the other day you might get a giggle out of this a, a little something you're, something you're, are are you sitting down yes i am <laughs> and i actually put my coffee cup down too just okay. in case all right well the other day it dawns on me right mm-hmm. that a few hundred years ago a couple of guys gathered in secrecy and what they gathered in secrecy to do was to write a declaration of independence and the first thing they did was they started a group <laughs> yeah because they all want to well, be independent together <laughs> yeah wait a minute it sounds more like a trade union to me they were all wealthy slave owners i mean think about it. these fuckers weren't like you know uh, picking cotton and sh- they were slave owners they didn't work what what do you think they did? Oh, they owned land and slaves, so they must have sat around on their ass with plenty of time to think about, well, I don't have enough. How can I get some more? And they came up with this, I know, 
a declaration of independence, but you have to join it and become a group. Mm. Yes, we're going to be independent together. We're going to be sovereign citizens. That's pretty much what it is. So- it sovereign. May not be, yeah, it may not be as good a book as the Bible, but it's pretty popular. It's up there with that kind of stuff, isn't it? I think so. You know? Have Have you ever noticed? You're going to hate me for saying this out loud. Oh yeah. But you have you ever noticed that the majority of people that you will encounter in your life that claim to have read a book did not read the book that they claim to have read yeah they just read the little blurbs on the back saw a movie or but then i'm the kind of person that i forget details too but there's still you know i don't know you know when i was in about you, you know this whole talking about people that said they read a book when they didn't read a book i (laughs) i i really yeah you know i can't i can't you know like totally diss them because well um when i was in school (laughs) i did several book reports and uh yeah yeah. i did not read the book yeah well see what people don't seem to grasp as a culture is reading isn't for everybody everybody doesn't want to learn how to read and you know what you can't force a human being to do what's that anything they don't want to do oh yeah it, it if you're forcing it and they don't want to they won't do it true okay well reading is one of those things not everybody wants to read. Mm, well, that is true. Okay, but when you do read or you have read in the past, whatever your game was, you recognize people that have. And it's not necessarily by the titles. It's by the way they explain their version of what they read. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, because there's different versions of different stories. Like the Hitchhiker's Guide is done in print. Uh-huh. It's done in film. Uh-huh. But there's two different uh, expressions of uh, the same story, but they're not identical. Uh, well, I that's mean, they're true. Not, they're not uh, exactly the same is what I mean. They're identical only because the story, but they're not you know, line for line the same. So they've taken kind of like a artistic license with this really interesting shit and taken it in different areas where it wasn't intended to go to because the original writer died. Yeah. So yeah. now they've got all this great literature, but they're running out of new shit to write about. So they're expanding on some of the old shit that was successful. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's and yeah, it's amazing how many remakes and bringing up old ideas and because they just freaking don't have any originality, which I do have to say there really is nothing new under the sun. It's probably been oh. said 20 bazillion times before. Oh, I did I mention it on the show yet about Cirque or did I just tell you before the show? You I told me before the, before okay. the show. Oh, oh you mind shit. If I take a minute to let you guys know what happened to Circle the other day. Yeah, go right ahead. We've been typing about it. And, you know, if you're in and out of the room, you get little bits and pieces, real don'ts. But I'll, I'll start it from the beginning to the end. Okay. So Tuesday, she has a, a day home for, she'll do whatever work she has at the house and didn't have to go to the city. So she says, ah, it's a nice day out. The sun's out. I'm going to take the dog for a walk. Uh huh. And on their walk, the dog got. Um, what do you call it? Uh, nervous, jittered, scared, ran off. What do you call that shit? Uh, I spooked. shouldn't do it with me. Spook. There you go. Yeah. And Cirk got her hand wrapped up in the damn leash, and the dog jerked it so hard she bent her few fingers backward. So she got a few compound fractures, and it's pretty bad. But, you know, luckily it was just an accident. It wasn't like the dog did anything to her, just everything that could go wrong at that moment did. Yes. And she she got the worst of it, but she's still, you know, she's still alive. It's not that critical, but no hands for six weeks, probably. Oh, and see, you're still alive, too. (laughs) I didn't do anything. 
Why wouldn't I be alive? Well, because, you know, eventually she's going to get a little bit on the stir-crazy side. Oh, that. No, she she hit that the first day. Cirque is a very active-minded, so the handbrake yes. is really bad for her. Yes. Yeah, she, she likes to stay busy, and, and now without the hand, she's limited. There's still things to do, but, you know, she can't knit. Or what's that, crochet for like six weeks? Oy. Oh, and see, that would make me... Right, exactly. Absolutely. That's the point. So, but to, she's not going to get angry and take it out on me. She's the one that broke her hand. I got to help her get stuff now. <laughs> ah. Yeah, because she's crippled. <laughs> <laughs> my, what that means in Hebrew is at my mercy. <laughs> ah. That's right. You oh, didn't know hey. that? <laughs> no, I didn't. But you know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, Let's and, make it a joke. Yeah, and see, I was making a joke too because you know, my mother, if she would have been wounded like that, yeah, yeah. if we ha yeah. we had to stay out of her reach, um, because well, yeah, she still had one good hand. <laughs> no. We're 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 lucky. There's there's a few rooms in the house to separate to if you get crowded. Mm, That's yep. life. Yep. There but, you go. But, you know, she's she's able to walk around. She's just angry and miserable about it. That's all. Well, and I understand that. My God. Yeah. Well, I, I'd i been typing about it because, you know, shit, you, people that know her, like yeah. you. Yeah. And I wanted to just take a few minutes and clear it all up and say it out, you know, get it over with. But poor sir. <laughs> I know. Darn it all. Wow. And don't ever repeat that I ever said that to anybody, okay? You promise? I, I promise. No yeah, one will at, ever hear it. <laughs> well, we're at the dork table, and there's one thing you know about the dork table. What's that? Nobody pays attention to anything I'm saying. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> well, and yeah, kind of, sort of, because I was scrolling on mines while you were talking. <laughs> See? Well, but I ran across this really wait, great <laughs> meme. It says, wow. fear has two meanings, forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. The choice yeah. is yours. I like yeah. that. How cliche. I do like that, though. Yeah, but it's easy to read it, and it's hard to do it. Yeah, it is. It is very yeah. difficult to face your fears. All right. Well, the first trap that you're conned into believing is that you need to be somewhere permanently. Yeah. You know, that's why we can travel is because that's what people, some, not everybody, but some of us like to migrate. Yeah. Visit foreign lands. Yeah, my brother's off on a Amsterdam weekend going to Scotland or some crap. You know, doing stuff, getting out there and, and uh, seeing a bit of the world. Well, it's still there to see. There you go. Well, may as well. But what the hey? Look at the stuff that we found. The birth certificate. Meet your straw man. Uh, how fucked up medicine is. The yeah. Federal Reserve. You name it. And what there is to discuss is usually horrible. Which you is know, why we get all dorkular on the, on the dork table. Pretty much. But I was thinking about, wow, all the... The basis of our of our living experience is all based on bullshit. We use oil because hemp is good. Yeah, and because not, not hemp is re around. yeah, and because hemp is renewable, and you cannot make money off of yeah, something it, that's renewable like that, especially when anybody can grow it. Well, they talk about all the businesses it would kill to create, you know, to create life out of our machines and wares out of hemp. But in the long run, it would free us up from the slavery fucking 40 hour a week nightmare shit they got everybody conned with. Yeah. It's a scam. Come on. It's just like uh, indentured servitude or it's just like being chained to a fucking um, stake and being told to work. How is it any fucking different? Oh, wow. Yeah. And I You've just got the image in my mind of, you know, like when a dog is, is chained to a stake and mm -hmm. how they just run around in circles. Yeah. You know, and trying to get they, to the very edge of that chain at all as, times. 
far away from it as they can be. And that's how we live. That's how we're taught to live. And they're encouraging it even more. All this late shit uh, lately about uh, the shooting crap in Florida. That what was it, Valentine's Day? Yeah. 17 dead and all this horse shit. No bodies like usual. No witnesses to anything. Every fucking story you hear about it is negative. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the gun lovers think it's about a gun grab, and it's got nothing. It's The gun is just the tool to control you. <laughs> it's all it is. Yeah. Whether you own one or you don't own one or not, it's got nothing to do with it. It's that you can be riled so easily by discussing it in a certain light. Well, and you know, one thing that I notice or have been noticing a lot more lately is that Good. every time they have one of these things, um, gun sales go up. So I'm sure the gun manufacturers and the ammunition manufacturers are loving yeah. the shit out of this stuff. Yeah. Well, right, because they're preaching to the crowd. They got us all scared of each other. I'm not me. I mean, I surprise people when I tell them I'm not scared of anyone. They go, well, you should be <laughs> the way you talk. <laughs> yeah. But I only talk like this to people that can understand what the hell I'm talking about. You know, like a, a real life encounter with Hansel in the real world would never happen. What for? We we don't agree about anything. What, what's there to talk about? Not, bye. Next. Yeah. But the Internet's a whole other planet. You can explore your dark side without being a mugger or a killer or a rapist. You can be a typist. Say nasty shit to it, something you don't think much of. Yeah. And the sad part about all this crap, Barry, it's all based on political statist um, beliefs that don't work. Makes an enemy out of me for my free thinking belief system. Yeah. Makes my my reality to a, a organized tax paying law abiding citizen. I'm the enemy. <laughs> Yeah. I'm the guy that doesn't want to hurt them, and they're supporting the system that is fucking killing them. And there's video links to explain to these people how the system is killing them, and they won't look at it. Yeah. No, I know they don't look at it. I guarantee you they don't look at it. And it's not because it's not available. It's available. The truth is out there, just like they say on the X-Files, huh, Grim? Yeah, yeah, well, his X Files. I like the X Files too. Okay, I, right now I'm into other TV shows. When I spend my time doing that, I'm watching something else. Well, but, yeah, you know, right now I've been our... well, yeah I've been watching a lot of the uh, Netflix documentaries and that kind of stuff. See, they yeah they found your button. They found my button with a, a a story. I like the story more and the colors and you know it's not like I'm taking it for. Uh, a historical document. It's just pretend it's actors on a fucking soundstage playing little skits out it's for my entertainment. It's not real, <laughs> you know, and, and here I am. And, and sometimes I wonder if other people realize movies are just make believe. Well, yeah, they are They're not travel documents. They're fucking movies. Well, look at the crap that the movies have allowed the police to get away with uh, and make socially acceptable in the last 40 years because they saw it on TV. Yeah. But 40 years ago, if the cop would have ever done that to you, people would have fucking stopped his ass. Who the fuck you think you are? Yeah. And in the 70s, right around 73, 4, those fucking law fuckers started getting violent with the public. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I remember being 14 and seeing a downy cop hit somebody I knew. Oh, and geez. they hit him. He didn't do anything. So, I knew when I was young, oh, these guys are two-faced. And I knew a lot lot more for reasons I can't go into on the radio. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Leave that one to the fucking imagination, people. <laughs> I'm from LA. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that you know, well, when you think about how how hard you got to push to rile me, you know, yeah, hardly any of this crap everybody's all worked up about is 
bothers me at all. Yeah. Hmm. You know, my like, oh Christ, what they got? Um, what's this? Twenty eight genders now. Oh good lord, me. <laughs> I had more fun with that last night. With what? Um, the uh, Georgia school that has these new guidelines where neat is a is an official proper pronoun to use. Only it's spelled N-I instead of N-E, but still. it Yeah. No fucking way. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know what? Yeah, because it, it is a gender neutral pronoun. And you know, some of their gender neutral pronouns, instead of saying her, it's... Yeah. Her. So instead of H E R, it's H I R. What the hell? So are hell? you saying that you understand the reason they're doing this? No, I'm saying that I'm really enjoying saying neat. <laughs> okay, well, you know what I think it is. What? You want me to tell you what I think, or do you want to tell me what? Uh, I think? Well, you're going to tell me what you think anyway. So go oh, ahead. I I think other people want to control other people. Well, yeah. And I don't think they care what it is that they do to control the other person just as long as they get that boner of control feeling from whatever they say. You know, they yeah. point a finger in your face bitching at you because of what you did. And it's the same exact thing. It's just doesn't doesn't change anything. They're just repeating what you did. So. It's about controlling who gets the last word. Oh. And who's right. I'm right. I spoke last. And well, then you hear the click of the fucking handgun and somebody dies and it doesn't matter who spoke last anymore. Yeah, that is true. This is what's really... I, people are dying out there for telling the truth, Mary. It's oh, sad. yeah. Oh, yeah. Doctors, the good ones, the ones that want you to understand the reality are getting picked off by the ones that don't <laughs> mm -hmm. well i've been i've been the victim of ridicule over on another side i won't name mines .com. oh well you know it is kind of funny how how you know these people that are supposed to be so inclusive mm -hmm. and so loving and you're supposed to you're supposed to and they are mm -hmm. not one damn bit they don't they don't see that great big shiny mirror in front of them going excuse mm. me well, you're telling me that i have to be inclusive of your ideas while you yeah. demand that i change my ideas to your ideas or i'm a hateful yeah. fucker and i should die what welcome the hell to the, welcome to the fucking dork table this is what i've been telling you oh i, I know but it's it's just i know you know i'm just using that as a way to talk about it you dork yeah Doik. Yeah, doik. You were, yeah, you were a dork long before I ever met you. I That's didn't, true. I didn't have nothing to do with you coming out as a dork. <laughs> I did not come out of the closet Where as a dork. I was not a closet dork. Up. Well, hey, you know, yeah. being a dork ain't so bad, though. It's got its good side. Yes, it does. And come out but, of the closet if you're a closet dork because there's nothing like being dorkular. No, you get banished here by other people's opinion. And I don't really give a shit. Well, no, right, right, right. But that's <laughs> the point. It's, it, it's just, a, it's an identifying thing. It's like the color of your hair. It doesn't have any fucking emotional beating attached to it. It's just so that other people know what they're looking at. It's an obsession we all got. Some people are lucky. They got skin that represents something that that prick already hates. So he knows you're a nigger. Or a Mexican, or a slant-eyed Chinese fuck, or whatever their problem is. You know what I mean? Well, and that's why you need to have a pigmentation-neutral and gender-neutral mm. pronoun. So you can either say neat, or you can say fucker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have spoken. I've been yeah, wanting to say that forever. I would, <laughs> I, uh, I'd be in trouble. I, no, I ain't playing those fucking games. Nobody's controlling what I say. You're no uh, fun. You know, I, I got into it earlier on the RLM. I won't mention who it was with because I don't want to talk to her now. But uh, what I was talking about is YouTube is starting to censorship. Uh, st shit. 
I'm yeah. sorry, Cirque was asking for something. I got tongue twisted. Yeah, one <laughs> each. Uh, she's in pain. She wants her drugs. Oh, well, I understand. Yeah, Bless her heart. Her, poor thing. Broke her hand pretty bad, I'll tell you. I yeah. know I'm laughing, but it, it's that nervous. It's that, yeah. I don't want to. It's that yeah, nervous, that you're nervous at a funeral after. kind of uncomfortable laugh that tends yeah, to leak I, out. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a victim of that, too. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so I come on bitching about that censorship the level of it on on youtube and blah anyway i just wrote one line two lines and somebody comes back harping about how it's a free business and if it if i don't want to use it don't use it and that has nothing to do with when did censorship become a matter of uh a decision made by a company you know that's not marketing that's censorship well, and see, I think this is going to come back and bite them in the ass simply because, you know, a lot of those people that they're censoring, they say that they are a business and this is like a business decision to be more inclusive, yada, yada, blah, blah. But we're going to be inclusive in our version of inclusivity. But a lot of these were monetized videos, so they were getting, um, hmm. you know, they were generating money from either ads or clicks or I don't know how that shit works. I, I don't even want to mess with that. But <laughs> they were generating money and then they kick these people and they tell them, no, you can't, you can't be here anymore because, well, you're just not being our brand of inclusivity or you're saying hateful things. And so what do they do? Not only does that person go somewhere else to create a channel because there are other places where you can do that, but they also take their followers with them. And well, so right. those people well, aren't clicking on those ads anymore. Those people aren't doing all the other fun clicks. And so it is, it's going to take a bit, but it will bite them in the ass because more and more people will just say, fine. You know, if no, that's right. the way you, you roll, we'll just roll away from you. You're talking about the company itself. Yes. Right? Yes. Google and YouTube. All right, and the way I take this myself is that there's no help for the masses. There be there be a um, critical mass has been hit, surpassed long ago. We're we're the fringe of the fringe of the fringe. We're the frayed end on the fringe. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. There's, the people in the fringe look at us and go, "Hey, those wackadoodles are crazy." Yeah, and they're not right they're wrong we're probably the ones that aren't ac actually insane to some level unless you're you're here under false pretenses and you take drugs you're on some kind of liver medication to keep your feet from smelling or whatever the fuck con job they <laughs> pulled on you yeah yeah you have toenail yeah. fungus well yeah. Take these liver pills and that'll cure you. Well, whatever, yeah. you know what I mean. Anyway. Yeah, and by the way, in the rare instance that your death is caused, you can't sue us. <laughs> yeah, isn't that just wonderful how they do this shit to us legally? Consent. It's called implied consent. You're being bent over a table and had fun with at your with your own consent without consent. It's insane. And me too. Well, I just know yeah. what the, I know how to avoid certain things in life is what I do. Violence and stupidity are not my companions. Yeah. I avoid them. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, people call me all coward and all that horse shit sometimes. And I go, you know what? Enjoy your fight. I know I did when I had mine. I got scars everywhere, to, you know, from the past. Yeah. And that's. But they're for so you, if you want to stop, you go, hey, see, I survived this from here. <laughs> and you show off your scars to the other battle-worn fuckers. <laughs> ah. Pass the crown down to the younger ones. They go off and they do battle. Uh-huh. Ooh. Yeah, but there's the social one, and there's the one where they really go off to fight, though. And they die and shit. Yeah. The social one wasn't so bad when I went through it. I mean... I don't remember a lot of people dying when I was in my teens. Now, the older I got, then the more I noticed, hey, people are croaking left and right. Fuck, what's this about? Yeah. So I came to the decision a few years ago, you're not going to like this, Mary. 
I think you ought to light a cigarette for this story. Uh, Oh. I'm going to draw a question to something that's historic. And people already have their ideas about it, no matter what, because they've been told. And I'm questioning the people that told them. I think the people that told the story in the first place did not tell a true story. But what they did do was they took circumstances and built a story around it to suit the circumstances. Now, Dateline, 1969, (laughs) California. (laughs) Okay. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about the the Manson things always attracted a a lot of attention over the years. Me too. Mm -hmm. The Manson story is a great story. Yes, it is. But there's so many coincidences politically at the time that had that not happened, certain laws wouldn't have been able to have been placed into action. Yeah. The drug on wars is one of them. That one too. So what better way to fuel a society than to have the drug hip the drug addled hippies of Hollywood murdering people in the middle of the night while they're on their illicit drugs. Ah. Mm. Mm. And, and little things okay, well over the years, you know, we've all heard our versions, what we've heard about the Manson tale. And over the years, little details of news clips I saw started to make me wonder if any of this was ever real. And one of them was they did a, an, a Manson interview with him in a California state prison, Vacaville, I think it was. Mm-hmm. And at the time, the guy had a beard down to his down to his neck. And the state of California had a law that said you can't have a half inch, more than a half inch of beard on your face at that time in yeah. history. So yeah. how how does Charlie Manson get away with it? I don't know. It's, it's his freaking creepy eyes. He had creepy eyes. <laughs> oh, God. Well, how do you, okay, but how do you answer the question, if the law says you can only have so much facial hair, why is Charlie Manson the only one in the whole prison system that's... Um, that doesn't affect um because they don't allow him around sharp objects i don't you know see and that's a selective that's a selective um application right, of right, the right. laws okay all right that's possible it's not likely okay but yeah. still all right little things like that the little details it's like watching columbo and you know he's like he's running around looking like a dumbass all over the place picking up shit looking at stupid things mm-hmm. and the next thing he's he's arresting the right guy for the crime yeah <laughs> yeah that that's me i got one more question <laughs> okay well i got well, one for you here real quick yeah yeah so we are taught in our rockefeller owned school system that the earth is terribly overpopulated the reality is that the entire population of Earth could fit inside of Alaska. In two thousand square square yeah, yeah. in two thousand square foot homes side by side and still have yeah. three hundred and fifty thousand square miles <laughs> yeah. left over in just <laughs> this one state. Uh, yeah. And the reason for that is uh, simply due to the fact that they wish <gasps> us to believe in scarcity. Yeah, because of the derivatives market. Uh huh. That where the trillions of dollars and all these futures. These people are lying to us. We're being so fucked. It's not believable. But we don't know it. We're we're so far down the financial food chain that we wouldn't know what money was if we saw it. Yeah. Yeah. What was that one video I watched? The difference between money and currency. Mm hmm. Yeah, because, oh, currency and property and that. It's not it. It's not what they want. It's the control over all of us through it. It's a fucking tool to control you. That's all it is. Whether it's real or not, it, we believe it, so it works. That's why you willingly show people pieces of paper to strangers with badges and shiny hats so that you can go through the magic fucking door and enter paradise. Ah, paradise. Mm. You know? Doesn't anybody just take a fucking walk anymore? <laughs> no, no. But, you know what I mean? I mean you, to, you can't travel freely in this world anywhere. 
because all these pricks think they own shit. So they hire these thugs to search our shit and humiliate us physically when we travel. So we'll do as little of it as possible. Yeah. You know, they don't want us traveling. It's not about making money on an airline. These fuckers, this is a scam. We're being herded around like animals. Watch that film I kept posting about death by medicine. Oh, I've watched it. Uh, I've watched it. I'm not talking to you only. I mean, come on. I would hope somebody besides you was listening. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, they are because Moosey's laughing about Scare City, which, yeah, they try to keep us in Scare City, and they want us all moving to that city so they can control us easier. If you undernourish and undereducate, and overcrowd, these results are what you're going to have. This was all expected. That's why you get all broken up into 50 million groups. They got you split so damn into such small groups you can't ever unite. It's over. Yeah. There's no fight. There's nothing to fight. There's only surviving the shit that's being done because most people don't believe that it's happening. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) They think... I'm crazy, <laughs> which eh, that's debatable, I suppose. But I mean, it's not like I run around in a Bugs Bunny suit with a dildo smacking people in the head crazy. It's I don't want to recognize your authority because you tell me you have it. What the fuck does that mean? I've God got bless you to circle. She just sneezed, look, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a gang here with guns, and we got a jail to put you in, so shut the fuck up. And that's how life really is. Mm-hmm. You can lose your freedom just telling a cop to go fuck yourself. Go blow your dog, stupid. He'll probably take you right to fucking jail. You'll have charges you wouldn't even imagine him thinking of. <laughs> and But we live in this world where we're raised with the trust that the guy in the suit and the, and the gun and all that crap, that he's going to treat us right. Yeah. And, and they're still pumping that bullshit into the, the mind of the citizen. <laughs> I see it all over the Internet, Mary. It's, you know, I'm not popular on the Internet. These people don't like me. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> it's true. I mean, hey, I, I can understand their side. You know, sure. Mm-hmm. But no, if you did it my way, I'll tell you this, I guarantee results in six months and in 24 hours, you'd be a happier person. Three steps to unfuck the world. <laughs> but you got to unfuck yourself first. Yes. If, if yes. you're fucked. Yeah. Because if <clears throat> you're a fuck and you're in the world trying to unfuck something, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> it ain't going to work. You, you got to burn all the larceny out and just be a normal yo-yo and, you know, just be nice and get through the day. Well, and that's yeah. the only way to unfuck the world is to unfuck yourself. Yeah. yeah because the more people angry. that do that for themselves, the less fucked up the world will be. But I was going on a rant about we're all angry on the internets and get to type shit we wouldn't normally say to a person. Because I think nose to nose, person to person, we would treat each other a lot differently. I think the internet is like a, it's it's kind of real, and then it, there's things you say that you don't eh, think it through. You don't mean it. Yeah. But you don't even know because you're in that mindset at the time. So it's like I, don't, I guess my version of going to school. Your experience has taken you to the point where you're at in your life today. It's not a contest. No. Okay. We weren't both exposed to the same knowledge. You were told one story. I was obviously told the story you were told because I'm familiar with it. But something about me, I don't believe it. Yeah. And you and you do. Whoever you may be. Yes. You know, not mm-hmm. to pick any one person. Hansel. You know. <laughs> Because if there's anything I'm known for, it's not picking on anybody except Hansel. So, you know, because he's so obviously dead set against me because I smoke marijuana. Oh, you and your darn 
um, <sighs> imbibing in weeds stuff. Don't you yeah. know you're supposed to spray those with Roundup? Yeah. Damn it. Well, I, I think the core of, of our um, illusion of not agreeing is based on that completely. That's the cornerstone of it. Mm-hmm. I condone something so evil that it would make people eat Twinkies and like them. <laughs> I know people that like Twinkies. Oh, Christ. Okay. I was trying to make... Ooh. I know. It's scary, I isn't it? Paul Bunyan, my joke and everything right yes i did <laughs> but you know you're you're talking about forcing people to eat twinkies and i've i've done that actually i've forced people you i'm gonna make you eat a twinkie really you got one? Oh god oh, well, I mean, if you smoke enough pot they might taste good oh. so it kind of defeats the punishment of the twinkie see and Mm. Mm, back in the day, because that's how I know how Twinkies taste, is, you know, back in the <laughs> yeah, day. Back, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, ooh, you know, I'd, no, you can't smoke enough, or I, let me, let me rephrase that. I can't smoke enough pot or drink enough alcohol to make a Twinkie taste good. <laughs> oh, you best hours. I get it. You're a lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, if you had chicken no, nuggets or oh, something like that. Oh, 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 like, I get it. <laughs> All right. You got me. Yeah. You're just being finicky about your choice of food. Yeah. I get it now, Mr. I'm, I'm picky I about I told you I smirt. <laughs> oh, see? You got it. You figured it out. Oh, hey, hey, wait. So I was whining about my uh, inability to make friends and influence people. Oh, <laughs> 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 And, you know, and I've also got to tell Mr. Grimner, I have decided in uh, in the absence of anybody else's opinion that Black Betty is racist because you never play off White Betty. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't know if there's such a thing as off White Betty, but you inspired the thought, so you had to hear it. <laughs> well, and actually, if you remember the Archie's cartoons... Yeah, Betty and Veronica. Betty was a blonde. I don't and know. And Veronica had the black hair. <laughs> Let's get this straight here. Damn it. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going uh, to go get my friend Stallone over here and have him explain it to you if you're not nice. <laughs> Geek. Because you know what? I, I compared you to a new a new um, superhero female I created. Oh, Joan of Snark. <laughs> That's right. Oh, uh, that reminds me of an ad I saw on the side on Fakey Book the other day, yeah. and and it was one of those where I I almost clicked it <laughs> oh. because I want that T-shirt because it it says you know it was set up like a um, weather forecast and. <sighs> Chances, and it said across the top, chances of snark today. And it had all of these different, um, you know, like sunny and partly cloudy and all this. And it had 98%, 90%. And I thought, I want that T-shirt. <laughs> well, you know what? If that's all you require, then that's what you should get. You know, I, I heard, I, I, I either heard a, somebody say this last week or I read it on a meme thing, but it got my attention. Mm-hmm. And we didn't lose. We just haven't won yet. And I thought, wow, that doesn't sound very good. <laughs> Wait a minute. We haven't won yet means you're on the bottom looking up. Mm. Well, no. I don't it's... be on your team. <laughs> well, see, and I look at it more as we didn't lose. We just knew when to walk <laughs> away. Yeah, Stop no, competing. That's... You know, there's just not a lot of people. People look at that as being weak. And if they knew how hard it is to resist picking up a baseball bat and just knocking somebody in the fucking skull with it because they're stupid, then you really don't understand what being brave really is. It's hard yeah. to walk away. Oh, I've done it so many times. I just wanted to just get even with whoever that was, but I walked off instead. And that is kind of hard to do sometimes. 
Right. There's lots of guys in jail for shit like that. Hit, what'd you do? Oh, I hit my best buddy with a ball bat in an argument. What? Why? Because he pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There you go. Best buddy and pissed off. Or it there's doesn't matter. Guys just are weird. We're just weird. Put yeah, but like you that. know, that's a lot of times that's the way it works. You know, as best buds, they're they're always pummeling on each other, and then they come back and they go, "Oh, dude, it's okay." Okay, well, but being smaller than everybody else got me out of a lot of things too. Mm -hmm. You know, I just never played on it as a reason not to engage. I just depended on it, on it as a reason not to have to, until push came to shove. And as I got older, it got easier to master. I figured out I was the aggressor all along. Ah. Well, it's a hard thing. People don't want to be responsible for the shit they do to other people. Yeah. You know, and words, I'm sorry, but you guys can type your complaints all fucking day and all night. This has got an ignore button on it. If I don't like what you're saying, I'll ignore you until I feel like talking again. And then you, it's on you. I don't give a shit. But, you know, sometimes a little too much is a little too much. Yeah. And I've had a bad week, Mary. My poor wife. Can I blame can I blame my shitty mood on my poor wife <laughs> breaking her fingers? I mean, I don't know. Is is it valid even to use that kind of a thought? Because I think it does play a part in it. I'm a little bit more uh, aggressive and um, uncomfortable because of the, her boneheadedness with the dog. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> mm, well. Mm. Accidents happen. I've been a victim of the accident. And I'm telling you, when it's you and it's the other person looking at the stupid thing you did to have your accident, mm -hmm. treat them accordingly. You yeah. Know? If they laughed, laugh at them. Broken neck, broken finger, fuck it. Doesn't matter. Laugh back. Laugh, clown, laugh. <laughs> yeah. I think life is like a mirror and what you give people is what they've given you. And some of us don't need to interact with each other because that's all that ever happens. Yeah. No, some mornings I'm using the RLM as an example. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I come to the RLM depending on the person who's there, the, there is or is not a conversation. And some of these people are, they're just like me in the long run. There's a lot of similarities. It's the expression is different. The typing is different. You know, the way you write something is not always the way that you mean it. Yeah. Or it's not interpreted properly. There's always variables in communication. So I'm going to stand behind. Communication is our problem and our weakness, not our strength. It's a weapon used against us. It can be. I don't be. see any good coming out of what communication I've had in 50-something years that wasn't out of my own doing. I'm not talking about things I've chased. I'm talking things that were stuffed down my fucking throat all my life that turned out to be bullshit. And see, that's, that's, where, um, <clears throat> that's where that whole critical thinking thing comes into play. And a lot of people, and that's, that's what schools, you know, public schools are doing is breaking you of that whole critical thinking scenario um, because hmm. you know some people well you know it's like uh, okay this quote that I just shared in the RLM from Maxine Waters I have to march because my mother could not have an abortion what huh wow. what what Wow, is that some fucked up logic or what? Yeah. But it, I'm sure, okay, but the way the school system operates is they control the bulk of the kids' thinking, how they accept information. That's what school's for. Yeah. Teach you how to how to mimic and copy and follow and do as everybody else to be like them. Be a good and little regurgitator. Get, yeah. And then you get us, whatever we are. And yeah, we got a fringe of people that, play both sides of the game yeah yeah it's the harder that's the hardest act to do is when you're in the game but you don't want to 
but you you're not really in it. You're just there. You know, you play it because it's ne- it's a necessity to survival. We all done it. Yeah. You know, because there were times in my life without that job or without without that thing to do, there was no food or shelter. See, so it's always been that way. Mm-hmm. Life has never been, oh, hey, welcome. You, you're a human being. You're alive. Enjoy something. It's always been slave for me so that you can do this. Yes. And it's why I stopped going to fucking rock concerts at such an early age. Oh. Yeah. Well, see, and Ooh, I just, yeah. I, and I just had this epiphany lately, but it's like, and and I guess I've always known it, but I never really said it out loud. And it's like, why do you have to make a living when you already have a life? When you're already yeah. living, why do you have to make one? Society. That's that's society. All yeah. Greed and I want my shoes made in Spain and I want my shirts made in China and people with money are creating this nightmare that we're in and then they blame us for the shit they do. And the the common man does not only have not no knowledge of it, no interest in it in the second place, but he's not willing to do anything about the results. They just go along with shit. Yeah. And call you and call you names for being against the system that's killing them. So, hmm. I guess at this point for us, it's a, it's a waiting game. Yeah. Because, you know, the, the balance of life, something's going to change. Whatever happens, we won't see, we won't be able to foresee what's going to happen. It's going to be a surprise to everybody. Whatever it is, I think it'll be huge and I think it'll be amazing. But I don't think it's uh, what we expect. Yeah. It'll be a surprise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But Maybe you said next, huge maybe, wrong. What? It's going to be huge. It'll be huge. Oh, uh, well, are you, a, <laughs> are you a grammar Nazi? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. <laughs> My little Jose. <laughs> uh, wow. Oh, that's, yeah, you know, that's that kind of like the neat gonna, thing. That, yeah, but that prick Jose was trying to get me to, to um, speak his name with an accent. Like I'm supposed to, because oh. my daddy was a Mexican, and I wouldn't do it. So, a Mexican you know? or a Mexican? No, you know the accent. <laughs> I know. Is, so I know. Like it's supposed to say Jose. Jose. I wouldn't do it. I just, nah. I'm just like that. You know, when you insist that I do something, that gives me reason to wonder. I wonder what'll happen if I don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the way I am. I'm spiteful enough that it's like wow. you you keep demanding that I yeah. do whatever well, it is that you want me to do and it's like if it's such a good idea, nice. why do you have to force me to do it? <laughs> no. Shit. And you know, and then Danish is different than English, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my wife bless her little heart speaks to English uh-huh and she speaks very well we communicate but there are certain things that they say in uh, the order of the words that mean something completely different when you hear it until yeah. you think it through well fuck you know we've been together almost four years and I still go what the hell did you just say to me <laughs> you yeah. can't teach an old dog new tricks <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'm the old dog. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait, you're older than me, though. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> oh, well, it's not that much. It was like six weeks. Big deal. Yeah. It's like the difference between me and my brother. My mom couldn't wait to have a second one for some reason. Oh, no, actually, the story we were told was they planned for two, period. That was it. Ah. Boy, girls, whatever we were, that was all they were going to do was two. So. Ah. Yeah. But here we are. And we're 14 months apart, so there's no real big age difference going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, a year and a half, that's really, it's pretty, pretty minimal, I think. Yeah. For 
Yeah, for two people. Yeah. But, my yeah, my girls are twenty two months apart. See, there you go. You kept it close, so there's not that big divide, and the kids can pretty much grow up together. Yeah. Well, he got a lot of tricks. Um, he could do things at an earlier age because I could do them at an earlier age because he was bigger. It was hysterical, man, to look back on on childhood and then see what it became. You know, I was telling you the other day, he's in a wheelchair now. <laughs> Fucking kid. I mean, wow, how life turns on you. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But, I mean, he's not sitting back and crying about it. I'm more the one that's, I don't know, it just makes me feel bad to think that both my mom and him lost their um, legs. And here I am walking around like I'm 40. <laughs> well, but Very that's strange. good. Well, it's good for me. It's not good for other people. You know. Hey, Moose says hi to Hannah. Go figure. Yeah. That's yeah. She's she's a good dog. A little yes. skittish, you know. But I think I blame myself for that, though. I'm not a good doggy parent. Ah, well, yeah. Well, you know. put yourself in the dog shoes. Well, I kind of maybe I did, and I thought I don't want nobody telling me what to do all the fucking time. <laughs> so that's how I raised her. You you want to bark? Okay, go outside and bark. You want to this? Go outside and that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah, she's not a clingy like a like a poodle. Or one of those dogs who want to be on you all the time. Yeah. Well, Hannah's one of those two two to three feet of space kind of dogs. See, and and Bubba likes to have when he's outside. He likes to have his. I'm going to run now. Oh, look, there's a butterfly. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. But in the house, he likes to have his head in your lap. And if you will let him cl <laughs> climb in your lap, he would. <laughs> yeah. But he's, he's just such a big old dummy. He is. Right. Well, they're dogs. They can't yeah. think like us. Yeah. Well, do you know that there's people among us that don't have depth and perception and time abilities? Yeah. Some of them don't, and they drive cars and shit. They give them licenses to with bombs here. Strap yourself in this bomb and do 80 miles an hour. Good luck. <laughs> hey, fucking vain. You wonder why there's so many accidents. Oh, Grimmy's asking your dog wears shoes. You know, there are people out there that put shoes on their dogs, and it's like, oh, why are that. you doing I, that to what, your doggy? What, what did I say that made him think that? I don't, oh, I don't know. Something about, they're, because they're chitty chatting about circles in her fingers and. Yeah. Yeah, and, I know. I see that. But I don't know if I'm the one that said, um, yeah. Yes, Moosey, Bubba <laughs> is just, Bubba is just a doof. <laughs> he is just a doof. Well, so And then I. Snuffles, you know, she, she'll come up and she'll kind of look at you with those sad eyes and you start scratching her on her neck. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you start scratching Snuffles, Bubba's right there going, Hey, wait a minute. There's some affection going on here. I need some of that. <laughs> hey, Miss Mary? Yes. Oh, I've got to know. Why, why is it like a superpower to, uh, uh, to understand something's true or not? Uh, uh, because it's not common. It's, you know, it's kind of sort of like, um, um, common sense common sense died years ago now it's uncommon sense kind of like the uncola it doesn't have that <laughs> those colors to it mm. yeah. yes oh what are we gonna do maybe we should just start our own group no let's no not let's, be be let's be independent let's be independent you want to join uh, me? <laughs> no. I'm still... Okay, well, you can... I'm, I'm going to declare I'm independent. Who's with me? <laughs> yeah, that was the irony of the moment. And I, I thought I've never seen it th through that particular light before. And it just hit me and I went, wow, what a con job this whole thing is. Yeah. It has to be. It can't... Nothing is for our good. Everything we do collectively is bad for people. Yeah, well, and, and collectively. This okay. this, what kind of monkeys are you following? 
Oh, at least they put the monkeys in Denmark in some pretty skirts and mix it up a little bit. You guys got <laughs> Nancy Pelosi and Hill Dog. Oh, I mean, really? Please. Out of all those American women, that's the best they could find. I think maybe those are some survivors of sex change. <laughs> well, and then you then you have uh, <laughs> what the hell? Her what's her face over here on Twitter? Um, that I'd read earlier. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! It's like what? Yeah, she, she Can you, you imagine? S- that woman gets paid for saying shit that if I said it, they'd lock me up for being insane. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I said put yourself in the dog's shoes. Yeah, Grim. You know, oh, in oh. Of, <laughs> in terms of, I had this little puppy a, a few years ago, and I asked for the dog, so it was my idea, and I just wanted the dog to get from me what I wanted from her. Ah, uh, hmm, huh? I didn't want the dog to be clingy and dependent. I wanted her to be independent of me, but need, you know, let me know when she needed stuff. Oh, yeah. She lets me know how, when she needs to go outside. And there's different levels of letting me know so I know what she's going to go outside to do. Uh, yeah, that is true because they do. Right. My, that's my interaction with the dog. Cirque is different. She doesn't. That they get along differently. It's hard to explain. Yeah. Different energy brings. Well, and then I'm spending an incredible amount of time with the dog, so she has my calm about her. But when Cirque's home, Cirque is very energetic, and the dog flows to that. And yeah. The dog gets amped up. Yeah. Yeah, they do sense. Dogs are very empathic. <laughs> They really are. And so, you yeah. know, anytime, I tell you what, dogs are really pretty good judges of character. Anytime my dogs, yeah. you know, their hackles get up or yeah. they're, you know, they're skittish around someone or shy away from them, it's like, okay, yeah. thank yeah. you for Don't confirming my suspicions. Yeah. Never be alone with whoever the dog's afraid of. Yes. Yep. Good. Yeah, we're being helpful dorks on the dork table this week, passing on our um, vast knowledge of do- dogs and dogdom. Such. Yes. <laughs> hey, you know what? I think everybody loves dogs, except Hansel. Oh, yeah. And He's then such, he he I'm wants not, one of them their accusing. dogs that always goes on the attack dog shit. But I'm not accusing. I'm repeating. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, this is a repeat. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We talk about so many weird things. You know what? It's got my attention this year, though, is this fucking medical trap. Oh, yeah. I'm telling, I'm telling you, man, there's something wrong. So, you know, and that's wrong. that's been one of those real epiphany kind of moments for me because I look at the at the government shit and I'd already been seeing, wow, all the tangled ways of things weaving and interweaving into each other. And then I started getting into like you with the medical stuff and wow, <laughs> that tangled web of great big knotted ball of nastiness. And then yeah. I started looking at both of them and going, holy uh-huh. shit. Yep. And and then and stopping to, to re- yeah, the then when place. you stop and realize that all you have to do is, you know, you get one thread worked loose yeah. and start pulling on it, the whole thing starts to disintegrate. Yeah. Well, and then it brings us to like Cirque's broken hand, you know? Yeah. Because there are extenuating circumstances where medicine is necessary. But here's the other side of that is you could, she, well, not circ, but a person under the right circumstances could have done that their damn self, put their hand back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not recommended, not probably healthy, maybe not even successful 100% of the time. But there's people out there that got that kind of bone. They just said, I ain't going to the fucking doctor. I'll do fix this myself. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, my grandpa was like that. Right. Well, I'm saying that's what I mean is I've only had to be in a hospital as an adult uh, once. And that was, well, twice. It was uh, two surgeries they had to do. 
but they couldn't do them all at once. They had to be spread out. Yeah. There was one side they did, and then they did the other side. And I got them done as close together as I could without pushing it too far. You know, without making it too close together. Mm -hmm. So pushing it. And, oh, man, I'll tell you, worst month and a half of my days. Yeah. But it showed me what uh, somebody goes through when they go have surgery. But it saved my life. If I didn't do it, I wouldn't be here. So... You know, it wasn't like a choice. It was a, a necessity. But the pills and the other crap that came from it, that was all them working me like a mule. Yeah. And my naivety and living amongst people that were health professionals, I never thought, no, this can't be bad for me. Why would anybody do that? <laughs> but once I got away from the States and started looking at the Internet a little bit closer... There was proof to my suspicions at last. Yeah, but when you stop and realize that a lot of them really don't know any better, they're they're actually worse off than you because they actually believe what they're telling you because that's, well, that's how they I'm were saying. trained. I, I had to I had to believe it at some point. That's what I mean is, mm -hmm. but at, but the symptoms that I would have. And the way I was feeling, I kept questioning everybody, and they kept shutting me up. And then came this holiday to go to uh, Scotland. Mm -hmm. And when I was over there, the things that were happening were more important than me making medicine and all that, doing shit like that every day. So I went a little time without it and started feeling better. <laughs> I went, hey, wait a minute. Something's not right. And then just – I went to – to talk to the doctor for the last time and they said uh, they wanted to do blood tests because the pills that I was taking do liver damage and I, I said I, I got to go to the bathroom and then I left <laughs> yeah yeah. and that was the last doctor I ever spoke to never will again finish with it yep Yep. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. checking out the, the chat, and they're talking about doggies. And yes, doggies are very, well, my doggies were very attentive these last couple of days while I was rather on the cranky side. <laughs> and they were like, it's okay, Mommy. We still love you. They, yeah, yeah. See, dogs have the ability to accept you however you are. Even if you're nasty and mean, you can still have a dog. And you know what's really weird? They have absolutely zero concept of time. Zero. Because when you leave, well, when I leave in the morning to go to work, and yeah. my doggies are standing there by the garage door, and they got one of them, Bubba, usually, has the uh -huh. ball in his mouth, and it's like, <laughs> you're going to throw it for me, right? And it's like, no, Bub, I got to go to work. And yeah. I come home from work, and you know what? He's standing there by the garage door with the ball in his mouth going, I knew he would come back and throw the ball for me. And, he, you know, it's it was like I had just left, and then well, I was back. It's because the dog heard you coming, and he went back to where he saw you last. Well, it's yeah, like I you know sat that. sat there all day waiting on you there, egomaniac. Oh, no, I know he didn't sit there waiting on me all day, but it's because, <laughs> I mean— I pull up I to turn way. at the at the corner to come towards the house, yeah, and I see I see him hauling ass already before I even make the oh, turn. Okay. He's hauling ass, right. and by the time I get out the garage door, he's standing there with the ball. Yeah. Yes. See, we all got a ritual. Cirque's now Cirque has her dog, so she has her rituals with her dog. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a personal thing between the person and the dog. Isn't that weird? We're, we're connected to animals in a different uh, level than other people. That's true, Moosey. They do know it's night when, because it's dark. But other than that, they, they just, oh, it, there's not as much light out. I really think that's the way it is. It's like, oh, it's not as much light out. And so I think they're fearless, too. Well, and my dogs obviously don't really care when their bladder says it's time to go. They come in and... They will nudge, and they will. Bubba will even try and climb on the bed, which See? thankfully it's tall yeah. enough that he can't do that. And he'll do this <laughs> arr, 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 to let me know that, yes. Mom, I have exactly. to pee. <laughs> See? And, well, that was a personal thing between you and Bubba until now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, He's Bill met at 11. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> 
Yeah, he is kind of, he is that a funny a... dog, but he doesn't care what time of day or night it is. If he's got to go to the bathroom, he'll come in well, and he'll wake me up and talk to me until yeah. I get my house coat on and take him out and let him go outside. But, they... but do you have a, a, a desire deep down inside to control other people and tell them all what to do? Do you want to be the boss? No. Have you got you got feelings of superiority? Do you think your nose don't have shit coming out of it that you would, shouldn't let in your... <laughs> Never mind. Mm, I was going to say, is this a trick <laughs> question? I don't want shit coming out my nose. It's supposed to come out the other direction. But... Ah, ooh, I just got past the stick of happiness. Thank you, Circles. Yay! Oh. Yeah. This communist She's... shit's cool, baby. Cool. Yeah, Tell she it. did a puff, puff pass, didn't she? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but she gets to be called the better half. So. Yeah, yeah, well. She's just nicer than me. That's all it is. Well, that's because she cycles. Yeah, I'm an acquired taste where Cirque gets along with just about everybody. Me, man, I get along with about... One out of a hundred. <laughs> mm, yeah. Something like that. It's pretty small. Hey, Moosey, you know, if, if you're thinking that it's not the same there without a dog, what you need to do, which is what I did after Maxter died, not that not that you have to do it, but this kind of mm. helped me, is I started mm -hmm. I started trolling the, the uh, Humane Society web pages. And, you know, just, just looking at the different puppies – that were up for adoption and not necessarily i call them all puppies no matter if they're <laughs> 10 or two months they're all puppies <laughs> but i just trolled the humane society um web pages and looked at and then i finally just went you know what i'm just gonna go look and i went and looked and damn it if i didn't bring home a baby <laughs> Ooh. and here i am trying to be all political and you want to be all publical. Okay. Yeah. I've already gone through the off-white Betty joke. Yes, you have. Oh, it, hey, you know, Vince was on the um, Freakers last. Well, not Freakers, Balls to the Wall with Grim for a bit. Oh, I woke yeah? Up to the, yeah, I woke up to their sparkling voices on the RLM this morning. Ah. Yeah, Vince has got a, a, a interview in Colorado, in Denver, Colorado, and on Monday morning with, uh, I didn't write it down. Well, anyway, some big uppity muck in Denver. Oh. Uh, yeah, somebody with, uh, you know, a name or something. And it probably he probably mentioned that, and I didn't write it down, and I forgot what it was. Uh, that's okay. But you know how I am. But I just wanted to mention it because he's, he's doing shit out there in the real world and putting it on the RLM for us, so we might as well enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just really cool to see. This is what news was supposed to be, is you have somebody you trust going out and filming and telling you what they saw. Yeah. And if there, there's anything to say about Vince, is that you're getting the truth, whatever he's out there telling you, it's really what's happening. Yeah. Well, he was asking me earlier, you know, if what I thought if that was journalism or not, so to speak. And I would say, yeah. Re reporting the events as they occur, however you do it, word of mouth, internet, YouTube, whatever it takes. Yeah. Because there's going to be a mortality rate to whatever's coming to us as people. But, you know, every day there's a mortality rate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm, I'm saying there's something huge is coming to us. I'm being oh, yeah. predicted. Nostra dumbass right now. Don't yeah. take my smoke away from well, me. Well, and I, I, I agree with you. There is something hu something okay. huge coming down yeah. the pike. I, I yeah. agree with that. Things, uh, and the biggest, the biggest thing that happened this week to make me go that direction was Trump back flip-flopped on the gun control thing. And that is huge. Well, he saw the Zapruder That's film. That's well, fuck. But that's not the point. He's wh whether he's doing is he's doing what he's told. Mm -hmm. We all, every everybody should have known that. Some people don't. But the the planners, the people behind everything now, want him to flip flop on gun control to create the problem that isn't there. Oh yeah. See, they're gonna make it happen because 
you can't get us pissed off at an, enough at each other for somebody to just open fire. And they've been doing all kinds of these guns, gun things at schools. These are operations done by the government. Obama went on a fucking video and said so. And if you think just because it's happening now and there's another idiot in the seat, it's the same fucking game you're getting had. Yeah, they're just changing the mask. Right, you know, it's a different go, well, face not, on the target. Not that people didn't die. And they, well, how do you know anybody fucking died? There's no pictures. There's no witnesses. There's nothing but this bullshit fucking government story revolving around gun control again. Which, by the way, you know, while you're talking about that, there are things circling around the interwebs right now, you know, different quote unquote ads that are like Craigslist or whatever of something going coming down the pike in Houston, I believe. Yeah, May. I think it was. No, it's this this week, this coming week. Uh Oh, maybe March the 8th. I'm being a stone guy making stupid. But damn memories here. Yeah, well, Our I just wanted to put that out there. Don't, thing. don't be surprised uh, if something happens this week down in Houston. Yeah, well, right, but because of the internet, though, we got equal amounts of true and bullshit now. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, well, conquer and divide. Yeah. Divide and conquer. However you word it or however you say it, it's still the same damn thing, and it works. Yes, and it, it works does. on us so good, it's embarrassing. Mm-hmm. I mean, crying out loud, if people would were told the truth by the government, we lied for 100 years, pot's good for you, probably save all of you. Yeah. Would that change anything, really? Because so many people have it embedded in them that what's happened and what's gone on has been the best of the best of the best when it was actually the opposite of it. See, and that's that's what brings me back to the thought that I had a few days ago. If you have someone that is a proven liar you know just plain flat out always lying to you and they actually say tell you the truth are you going to believe them that's that's the way that works that's how that's how you have the 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 uh, the best lies is you tell a lie i'm confused the most about how can you not see yeah (laughs) what am i looking at that is so fucking different than what you're looking at. That you think that that is good for you. Yeah, yeah, that's what's. That's what's. I cannot. Done. I cannot fathom that you can look at society in any light and come out with a positive. It is a failed fucking experiment. They proved it before they ever did it with lab rats. Yeah. They just cool. lied to you about all the, the components they put into your survival. We're not what they told you you were getting. You got lied to. They fucking poisoned the goddamn food and water. Yeah, yeah. They use second-rate shit electricity. They deliver it in a fucking wavelength that is wasteful. Yeah. These things have been proven. We've talked about them for fucking years. And here we are with people on RLM still praising the fucking government. It's insane. Oh, yeah, Moosey, Houston, we have a problem. Um, They are having a drill down in Houston, and they are looking for actors yeah. for their yeah. live drill, training drill down in Houston. I don't remember I, just exactly what the hell it was now, but they were they were having some kind of, they're looking for, and they're paying $1,000 a person. Uh, my my friend to uh, do it. Field, so my friend Phil the drill would be very interested in this. Perhaps you. I oh, go would call. you stop that? Jeez. But Miss Mary, but I was Flasher, for the blue. that's a fucking freaky ass voice. Stop I, it. I'm just. I, yeah, you're I just. To, I, use your little cycles voice. I have the I, extra memory. I yeah, I know you do. Yes, you, yes, yes, thing. yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Anyway. Oh, hey, did you know a man shoots himself at Lafayette Square near the White House, and this is a major gun-free zone? <laughs> yeah, a bit <laughs> awkward, don't you think? Yeah, thank you, Stephen Louder with Crowder uh, for that over on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. And see, it's sad. Someone someone shot themselves. Mm. And you got people pointing it out that it's mm. a bullshit thing. And people pointing it out that this is why we need to get rid of guns. And Exactly. 
and it's like Divide okay conquer. does it get any easier it's are we like, are we not seeing the point that someone was so deranged that they felt that the way to get at <laughs> trump was to shoot themselves it's a fucking sick world it really is but, wait a minute wait a minute yeah no it's not are you it's kidding? a sick society. Let's put it that way. Haven't you ever heard of natural selection? Well, yes. Then, nah, nah, listen. Natural selection is being assisted by government at every level. Every fucking level. Their job yeah. is to get rid of you. Well, <laughs> and then, works. yeah. And, and in walks Tide and, Pods. <laughs> and take your shit all along the road and beyond death. Yeah. They still want whatever you got left. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you're not and using it anymore. Are, yeah, and these bastards get it. And they got the consent of the people. How the fuck did this happen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because you know, I was listening to you the other night about... It seems to have finally really struck a nerve in you that the police do not protect and serve us. Yeah. And that to back that up, that you saw the information that SCOTUS provides telling you that their decision about police is they have no duty to protect you. It's on them. It's up to their discretion. Yeah. Well, wow. How much simpler does it need to be made before people really get you're out there all, all by yourself in a war zone? There's nobody to fucking turn to. Who do you go yeah. to? You can't trust the the system is the fucking enemy. And yet they want you to turn your guns in and don't yeah. try and do anything about it. Just call 911. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Call 911 and, and yet what? they aren't going to all they're going to do, all they do is show up and do a chalk outline. They're practicing their art skills. <sighs> Yeah, and that's from you, too. I mean, Rob Works and Grimner have been saying these things ever since I met them. They've never wavered off that stand one way. Yeah. No way. They've always been strict about it. And But for you to join that, that deep-seated part of it, I didn't expect that coming. <laughs> that was a surprise, Miss Mary. Well. You know, I mean, yeah, you've never been mean to me, so part of me doesn't think that you're capable. And then you do something like that, and I go, wow, I'm just glad I'm not in the wake of when, if you were mad at me, I'd know it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you would. It be, oh, it would be terrible. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, so by my nature just says avoid danger, Grammy land. Stay out. <laughs> that is not a good place to go to without arms. <laughs> arms and a week worth of food, you're going to get tired. <laughs> yep. So I chose not to war with you, and it's worked out good for me. Uh, well, that that's I mean, that's good. Yeah, but we I, disagree uh, without the yeah, but we've never had harsh words in, in what's it been five, six years now, five yeah. something like yeah, yeah, it's well, been what something like that. It's been a while since the W true, true yeah. Uh, but, God, I can't remember how long ago that was. Twelve, something like that. I was in Scotland because. That was what drove me to the internet is I used to have a, a free lifestyle and come and go as I pleased and pretty much did whatever the hell I felt like doing it at the moment. And that was um, replaced by a, a ill relative and a, somebody died. So things changed. Ah. Yeah. Well, okay. You know, I roll with my changes and now, now look at me. Yeah. Now I'm taking care of a bonehead with a broken hand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. nurse splash <laughs> yeah 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 that that is wow. kind of scary oh but you know that what? nurse flash that works quite well because i'm sitting over here on twitter and i just refreshed it and right at the top of the feed <laughs> planned parenthood the planned parenthood independent whatever from kentucky some men have a uterus and it just says that four times some men have a uterus and it's like what? Wow. 
Wow. Well, you know, and that topic in itself is one of those things that uh, I don't think it's fit for human consumption as a topic. It's too personal, you know. Well, it's, you know, it's that... a one sided. It's a one sided in the in the fact that the female is on her own for the most part of it. And it see... doesn't involve. You know, it doesn't yeah. involve my participation. I already did my job. My be- I used to tell my daughter, my best five minutes of your life, you are my best five minutes of my life. <laughs> well, you know, to me, it's one of those things where years and years ago when <laughs> they changed or they changed the terms from contraception to birth control. Oh, yeah. That well wording, you know, Carlin was big on how they changed words to soften shit so you'll accept it. Yeah. And his apparently he knew what he was talking about. It seems to have, if you follow the history of things, you'll find out words we commonly use today are don't even mean the, what the fuck we think we they mean. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. hidden meanings behind words and there's more to like uh, like religion would say chant and prayer and all this, right? Mm-hmm. And some of us are raised to mock it, and some of us are raised to believe it, and some of us are raised to actually do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I've grown to as a an adult to believe that whatever you believe is true for you. So I don't have to believe it or not. It doesn't matter what I think about it. You know. If you think the Muslims are going to come out of the fucking sewers and slit your throat and rape your cat and all that, then you believe it. Yeah. I live where I live, and I I don't think it's going to happen here. But there are a lot of angry people on the interwebs of the Internet telling me that I should be afraid of an enemy that I don't that doesn't exist in my daily life. So I don't get into it. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. Moosey goes, no, they don't. Men do not have a uterus. And, yeah, and Grimmy said, what? if Wait if a, a man has a uterus, that's not a man. But, see, that was told by someone that believes that there are seven different distinct genders out, or not seven, seven D, different distinct genders out there. And it's like, what? What the <laughs> hell are you people they're, smoking? And you know, when no, I saw that was plan. from Planned Parenthood, the the first thing that ran through my mind was, well, that just yeah. doubled their their business for abortions, didn't it? If men have uteruses too, <laughs> I mean, Lucky that to me, that's <laughs> what it is. It's like, oh, we're trying to increase our bottom line, so we're going to say that men have a uterus too. Next thing you know, they're going to tell men, you need to come in to have an abortion done because you look pregnant. No, honey, he just ate an awful lot. He's well, got Dunlap think, disease. Think about the groups in life that you've been conned into believing you belong to because you have a skill or a skin color or a hair color or a, a certain shape of nose or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's how we interact with each other that's wrong. We're taught wrong. I've said this for years. Whatever we're doing, if you're not happy with what you're doing, you're doing something wrong. Do it different. There you go. Yeah. Now, my version of different is a little bit more extreme than other people's, apparently. <laughs> I had to go far away somewhere else. I was not happy with here for some reason. Wherever here was at that time didn't do it. And then I traveled somewhere and I went, hey, this is a little bit nicer. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that's the whole buckaroo bonsai thing, though. No matter where you go, there you there are. There you are. So what's the point of the whole thing is to make your prison that you live in as comfortable as possible. Yep. You know, and and part of my requirements are to not fear my neighbor. I don't like living. I don't fear people in the first place. So I got to like work up into some kind of a frenzy to be aware enough of this other guy that may or may not exist to be bothered with him. Oh, come on, man. I wanted to play, you know, gummy drops or something on the Internet. (laughs) I got important things to do here than to be paranoid of something that could happen because somebody may do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Somebody might may almost kind of sort of possibly. It's the world we live in. 
not me, the world I lived in once upon a time in a faraway land that doesn't exist in my life anymore. Yeah. But I can't say that for my peers and fellows. They're, they lock doors, and I see all the same city bullshit here that I came from, but I don't participate in it. I don't give a shit. Well, see, if you gave a shit, then you would have to also, you know, package it properly and all. Mm. Uh, yeah, well, it, don't I, bother. I know it's... how easy it is to say, but mm, I don't know. I kind of go out of my way further than most people do to uh, be comfortable. <laughs> yeah. See, and yeah. I'd, I'd, I'm rather selective about my give a shitters anymore. Uh, the only concern I got is my company. I don't care about the rest of it. Yep, the Sir, company you know, that you keep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the the quality of your belongings and the kind of clothes you wear, all that horse shit. I give two fucks about any of that. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not that big on. My mom keeps telling me that she's going to go through her closet, but she's not going to get rid of her Diane von Furstenberg. And okay. <laughs> I keep looking I, at her and going, "Mom, what the hell? I can't wear it." But I'm not getting rid of it because it's a Diane von Furstenberg. Okay, well, Mom. Whatever. Jesus whoever. Sir. Right. Yeah. See? Different. Um, it's different it's just funny. Work. Yeah. Yeah, but they all work on us on something. Yeah. I've got, oh, Christ, i got collectible stuff that uh, the family's given me, Cirque's given me, little trinkets. Mm -hmm. And, you know. Because they're physical, you can see them, and they bring back your little memories. Yeah. But it's all tied into this con job that we live in. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah, we've been straight off what is good for us, and and what we do have is inferior. And when you tell other people that, eight out, maybe even nine out of ten of them start protecting the beast from me. <laughs> when I when I talk bad about the the thing that's killing them, they call me names. But see, that right there is should give you some kind of comfort because it does. when, when they are paying attention enough to lash out against it, then that means you have dropped a little kernel that, you know, it's like a grain of sand in your shoe. <laughs> you're there and you're kind of irritating and you're, you're getting them to, they're paying attention. If they don't yeah. even notice it, if they don't even yeah. acknowledge it, you're not, you're not doing... But if they acknowledge it enough to feel that they need to confront you about it, you yeah. have tweaked a nerve. Well, yeah, because there's some people on the Internet that truly are mean by nature. Their behavior is based in, in mean. Yeah. I, I am often one of those people. People see me, they see that mean side. That's what they recognize because probably that's what they are. <laughs> well... You know, hey, I've been I've been with Circuit. It's going to be four years on what today is Saturday, Monday. Wow. Yep. Four fucking years. Me and this crazy broad been together. So, I don't know. You figure it out. Four years, man. Yeah, it's gone. She must go, really love you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I haven't. Yeah, she. She's even the one with the broken hand. So, yeah. You know, it's, mm, I, I don't know. I don't seem like a disciplined, um, organized person, but I am. You know, the, I got this code or something. I don't know. I, I avoid accidents somehow. I avoid, tr you know, tripping and, and falling for the most part. I had one spill in the last, I don't know, 10 years maybe. Oh. But, you know, for the most part in life, oh, yeah, I've been very lucky. Well, I had a bike accident when I was 14, riding a small, like a 175 or something. It was some mm -hmm. Honda or some piece of Japanese bike. And I got hit by another bike that came out of bushes onto this main run I was running on. And we collided on our front wheels on an angle, like a V. Ooh. And I went flying off the over the top, you know, free of all the bike wreckage but i flew a long damn good way and hit pretty hard Ooh, but wow. pop put me back upon the you know straighten out the wheel enough for it to roll without you know being unrideable and put me back on the bike <laughs> ah, see there you go and 
I wrote it that day, and that was that. I was done. I said no more. Yep. Nope. Okay, they're they're still talking about the different genders, and I do have to say I had this discussion with my brother Danny. Which, by the way, happy birthday, Dammy Balls! It's my brother oh, Dammy's yeah. birthday. birthday. Yeah, hey. but he I was telling you. me that there are actually technically five different genders, but uh, two of them don't normally uh, they don't survive to birth. Um, and it is a it's a chromosomal kind of thing, but there's he said technically there are five different mm. ones, okay. and and they I don't remember he had the fancy schmancy words for them and everything because he's a smart kind of guy, but um, and he explained it all to me and and he said basically the there's two of them that it's it's just a it's like a X X Y chromosome kind of thing or a Y Y X chromosome kind of thing that that it just plain they don't survive to be born and if they do they usually don't survive past two years so mm. there are different genetic defects like that that will create more than just the two but they're very very rare Dude, you're you're talking about space aliens then mary yes i am i am talking about space because somebody probably came in through a window <laughs> Mm -hmm. and impregnated them i know and here i am poking fun at these poor people and there i'm sure there are people that have someone sneak in through the bedroom window and do kind of but i hey. i more and more you know the whole x files saying more and more i think that that is the black ops of the government doing that shit the the shadow government the ones that nobody knows about but still people know about it how does that wow. happen how do you have shadow. a a secret shadow. shadow government that no one knows about that everybody knows about how do you have well, that <laughs> it's it's because what happens is not explained to you in an honest fashion well they yeah. lie to you about how and what and where and when and who and this and that so you see what they want you to see Yes. And if you dare to look beyond their little stories, then the sheep come out and start calling you names. Yeah. Yes, they do. Well, it's kind of, yeah, but it, it's never going to be anything different than that. No. That's, nah, that's what we got. So we're just going to be coming to the dork table and saying, holy shit, just when you thought they couldn't fuck it up worse, they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well and oh, see that's yeah. when you hey. that's when you kind of sort of stop paying attention to them because well, it's like yeah, whoa no, no, you can't not it, this is about commerce and money and property and yeah people that think they're rich mary <laughs> yeah it's an illusion it's an addiction it's a game none of it is any more real than the next thing we just believe it is so that makes it real <laughs> it's one of those uh what do you call them? Paradoxes there, Miss Mary. Yeah. The ultimate Schrodinger's cat is us. You know, and if you let people experiment on you to see what's going to happen, in my mind, to a to a point, you deserve to, you deserve it. But if you've been offered uh, an option or a way to see it from another light and not do it, then there you go. Wow. You know, you said we're all Schrodinger's cat, and that just, wow. You know how my mind works, right? Sometimes. It uh, depends on the topic. <laughs> well, I, it all of a sudden, part. when you said we're all Schrodinger's cat, my mind went yeah. to, wow, that brings a whole new meaning to that Tom Jones song, What's New Pussycat? <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> That's why you're sentenced to the dark table, Miss Mary, because <laughs> you're just special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they call us window lickers, but little do they know that we put peanut butter on that window before we lick it. <laughs> so <laughs> You're the ambassador to the short bus, damn yes, right. Yes, I am, by golly. Uh, and, you know, who wants to ride a big old long bus with a bunch of idiots anyway? Mm, I don't. It's you know, much more you know fun. Hmm? What people talk about this electronic privacy shit. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's all about numbers and amounts and 
information, but wow, doesn't anybody just get out and take a fucking walk anymore? Yeah, but you know what else? People mm. expect to have some kind of privacy on the interwebs, and yet they're accessing it through a third party to start with. It's, same. it's, yeah, totally. it's no different than... You know, the moment you open the curtains or the drapes or the blinds or whatever you have on your windows, somebody can see in. The yeah. moment you open yourself up, somebody's going to see in. You just And once you just take that concept and go, okay, the moment I click on this thing and, and turn it on and sign up or whatever, somebody's going to be able to see in too. And once you grasp that, it's like... I have taken the mindset of, you going to be looking? <laughs> you may not like what you see. <laughs> uh, wow. wow. Boy, this job thing really messed with you. <laughs> Whoa. We've, we have Graham. Now I know why it's Graham Z, because you're Gramzilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> You've been unleashed on Kansas. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yep. Shit is going to stir, and we're going to hear about it on 6 o'clock news. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Oh, life life is interesting. That is for I darn sure. I just wanted you to go out of the show with a laugh. A giggle. <laughs> a little giggle in your look. Yeah, there you go. Yep, there you go. Oh, but well. it's kind of coincidental that Gramzilla. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Yeah, because I... I was looking at Gooberzilla. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I look up and I see Bethzilla. Oh Lord, I'm surrounded by Zillas. <laughs> yes, you are. Now, how else do you end a dork table? Uh, I don't know. Other than that. By counting zillas there you go i got a zillion zillas <laughs> that sounds like a dr oh, seuss book oh, ducks. <laughs> it's ducks miss mary you got ducks ducks, ducks. Du 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 quack quack waddle waddle quack quack waddle waddle oh well y'all been listening to the dork table here on this dorkular saturday uh yeah. i'm not real sure what else is going on the rest of the day but tomorrow at noon eastern time will be grimner with the blues and probably a very rousing game of trivial pursuit going on in the chat and then directly following grimmy will be hal anthony who's going to open up an, a, 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 a can of whoop ass on your ass behind the woodshed but that's all folks and then sunday evening is gary l and Gigi's boo with the road less traveled so on behalf of myself and flash a rooney dork me yeah Thanks for listening, everybody, <laughs> and for good luck and being dorkular. Yeah. Uh, dorkular. May the. Dor